Hey there, Taurus. It's time to have a look and see what is going on with your transition from 2020 to 2021. And just a quick reminder for everybody out there, if you are watching your rising sign horoscope, remember your rising sign is going to give you additional clarity as to how a great deal of your sun sign horoscope is showing up. And your moon sign horoscope is going to be giving you the other story that is also playing out this week. And just also, if you ever want to get a session with me, just go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. So with your cards, your main theme of this week is the Four of Cups upright. And this week is going to be presenting a bit of a personal challenge for a lot of you Taurus people, especially when it comes to uh, needing to pay attention to where we must deviate from maybe aspects of our own modus operandi or our own personal strategies, our own survival guides in order to succeed, in order to get ahead. Because with the Four of Cups, I'm seeing a lot of you uh, needing to actually break out of a lot of your forms, a lot of your standards, a lot of your procedures and protocols. The things that got you this far can't take you any further. And of course, that makes sense. You know, what got you to today isn't what's going to get you to tomorrow. So what we have with the Four of Cups is a breakthrough, however, or many little breakthroughs showing up that may actually defy what you have come to understand about what is standard or what is proper or what is going to serve. And we need to be able to Pay attention to where sometimes the small, the subtle, and the humble make the biggest chain reactions. We don't need things to constantly grab our attention with bells and whistles and sex appeal. Sometimes it's the most humble thing that actually turns out to be the holy grail, right? It's kind of like in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. That's kind of where we have the um, the shift going in here for you. Where have we maybe been looking for something to grab our attention when we need to pay attention to things that may actually not need to grab our attention because their value is already inherent. It speaks for itself. As we get on to your uh, personal responsibility card, what you need to take accountability for and ownership of if you want to have the best week possible, we have the world card in reverse. You're going to have chances to give a lot of things um, a second look, maybe even a chance to redo some choice actions, or you might have to redo certain decisions, redo certain projects. A lot of this may actually bring back very positive things from your past that maybe you have to get over the hurt of the loss so you can have it back, so you can enjoy it. In fact, with the World Card Reverse, I'm seeing a lot of do-over opportunities to get done right. You know, it's just that we have to do it over, but we don't do it over the same way we did before. If there is something that has, you know, happens to be a repeat pattern that pushes away something that's trying to come to us because it loves us or it's benevolent or it's going to pay off, of course, we have to find the right, right way to relate to it and connect to it. And that's what this is all about. As we get on to the material shifts, what's going on with your work, your finances, your money, um, your household, we've got the Two of Pentacles upright. And it does look like a lot of you Taurus people are going to find yourselves very, very busy uh, because it's going to feel like you need to be in almost two places at once because of a great deal of new opportunities building up for you. Now, this could be two income avenues showing up at the same time, two big projects, two big roles, two big commitments, maybe more than two. Some of you, however, with the Two of Pentacles are going to be finding that um, your week is getting pretty stacked, and it's going to, of course, have a big payoff. This is a big payout week for you. But for the sake of getting into... A, a space where you're much more comfortable and feeling uh, that prosperity, the Two of Pentacles is also going to ask you to change what you are allowing yourself to have as your workload so that you can accommodate more. As we get on to your interpersonal shifts, what's going on with you and your closest one-on-one -on -one connections, right? We talk about your... Um, 
your your main cast of characters in your life, so both romantic and uh, platonic closest connections, you've got the Six of Wands upright, and it's a beautiful week because it does look like you've hit the right stride with a lot of your nearest and dearest. Even when it comes to things like love and romance, a lot of you single Tauruses who are maybe looking to get out and mingle are going to actually be finding you are quite popular. You are actually able to command quite a captivated audience for yourself. Allow yourself to enjoy that a little bit, right? It's good to be able to play the field and you are attracting a lot of that attention. So uh, with the Six of Wands, a lot of you are also going to be finding that there is actually a, an opportunity to experience a sense of accomplishment through a partner or maybe even meet a, a, a very accomplished partner potential this week as well. And for those of you curious about just friends and family, this is also redefining a relationship that you have with a friend or a family member into one where there is a big win for you that actually changes what becomes known about you know, not only the family itself or the friendship itself, but it actually changes the course or the, I guess you could say the lifelines of all involved uh, to the up and up. As we get on to your uh, personal shifts, what's happening with you, as far as what's transforming in you, you've got the King of Pentacles upright. And of course, it's a, it's a Taurus card, right? King of Pentacles, that's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, you being Taurus here. The King of Pentacles is about stepping into, I feel like a lot of you are actually stepping into um, a great new sense of establishment as far as being able to secure not only a sense of kingdom as far as territory is concerned, but also, yes, building that castle of dreams, building that platform which you can also host, house, and support the friends, family, and the community, the soul family that you are trying to get closer to or draw closer to yourself. Because with the King of Pentacles, there is this sense of not only stability, but also uh, fecundity and cultivation that is also going to not only continue to pay you out, but actually boost the quality of life of a lot of people you choose to share that fecundity with. So that is what I've got for you, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And if you ever want to get a session with me, go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Mm -hmm.